Hi, welcome to our sixth class of our morning, Friday morning um, acrylics class. And today we're starting our batik. And this will probably take two weeks to finish. And today is the starting time. And what I've asked people to do is bring a picture. Can I have your picture? Sure. And I can show it. Just, um, and it's probably, probably a good idea to have a color picture, but it isn't absolutely necessary. But just a photograph out of um, whatever you can find. And then what we're going to do today is take this photograph and grid it. Grid it with four lines going down, four lines across. So there's 16 squares in it. And then you're going to probably double or triple the size of this and make a format on your piece of just drawing paper and um, grid that also, 16 squares. Now these squares are gonna be bigger than these squares. So you're going to transfer each square onto this big paper. So you have a bigger drawing or bigger painting than this when you're done. And then after you get it all, all drawn on with pencil, then you take a Sharpie, fine tip Sharpie pen, and draw over all those lines on this paper. Mm -hmm. So we're just working on paper at this point, but we're going to get to working on rice paper after it, on the next step. Okay. Now Lynn is doing the second step of um, working on the batik. Um, she has done a drawing on drawing paper, and gone over it with, um, yes, gone over it with the Sharpie pen, and now she's onto the rice paper and copying what she has drawn below it onto the rice paper. So that's the second step. Okay, we're going to do the first step in this waxing, and I have this drawing by Harriet here, and in this drawing, you can see that she has a very large snowy area in here that's all white. And what we want to focus on with the first waxing is to save the whites that are here. And so she's going to have a lot of waxing to do because all of this white area needs to be waxed. Now one thing about this particular, and every single drawing is different, but this drawing has some trees with little sticks coming out of them. You really can't do that in the wax. You have to ignore it. And you, what you do is at the very end, come back in and do those lines in there after you've done the waxing. But we're going to ignore those right now. So what we're doing, we've got melted wax in the little crock pot. And we're just going to go on the um, where the snow is and just put a layer of wax over this whole area so that when we put more color onto this, it will not affect this. It will stay white. So that's, that's this first process. Okay. 